Hi, Casper on the 27th of April 2024. Uh, Vaubleu Rhone wine, uh, Southern Rhone wine indeed. This is 2007 Gigondas Le Poste from uh, Chateau Saint Combe. Uh, Le Poste, interesting single vineyard. Um, I believe it's one of the few vineyards that's enti entirely, almost entirely, um, limestone in Gigondas, which is quite, quite unusual. Um, Got absolutely rave reviews from uh, Amer the American press. Um, I've had some 06 of this. I think there's probably a video note on our channel of the 06 vintage of this. And um, I thought it was coming to the end of its natural. So let's see what sort of condition this is in. And boy, you know, it looks really quite young. It's, it's deep. I can see through it, but um, it's pretty, pretty deeply colored. But it's, it's really quite red. Rim, of course, is showing some age, medium breadth of the rim, um, sort of deep garnet centre, um, and a sort of garnet, garnet rim. Um, well, that's clearly tertiary, but it's, it's got some fascinating complex things going on. Definite smokiness, a slight creaminess, but the creaminess is allied to really good snap of freshness. It's 14.5% on the back label, um, which I suppose a few years ago sounded a bit terrifying, but these days is pretty much par for the course. I mean, I've tasted Shelley Neff to pap up to 17.2 uh, was, uh, I think, the punchiest natural alcohol. Um, so 14.5, pretty par for the course. Dark, slightly rooty, lots of brown spice. It's a fruit is majors on red plum and a little, little, little bit of bramble. It's got a nice scented quality to it, aromatic sense. A little bit of licorice, as you'd expect, and some some interesting spices. A bit of. Sandalwood spice, a bit of um, yeah, some slightly North African smelling. Spices, but it smells. As I said, there's a snappiness to it that that stops the nose becoming sort of overly broad. Hmm. You know, it's just probably medium weight, this wine. It's got lovely energy to it, and it's got lovely minerality within the structure, and the structure kicks in sort of half, halfway through. I decanted this. Uh, it's been open for an hour and a half. I decanted it half an hour ago or so. I wonder if it could do with a bit more air. The, the finish is just a little bit slammed, slammed shut around its... Around its um, Really quite mineral structure. It finishes on a quite a limestone, limestone pecan structural note. Mm. More of that lovely red plum fruit, and it's it's not too. Hot. It doesn't come across as a really hot one. In fact, the freshness is really nice. That snappiness of the fruit is is there on the palate as well. Um, it's it's a long, long thing. I'm going to let this breathe for a bit more. I might have a glass of white wine just while this while this um, has a, has a bit more air. I think that finish could fill out a bit with air. But it's it's a wine of of real class. It's not a big blockbuster. It's not. It wears its fourteen and a half percent very, very well. Little little bit of warmth, perhaps right at the back um, as one swallows it, but um, it's you know it's a wine of freshness, snappiness. It's not terribly cr creamy. Grenache can get very very sort of creamy and um, almost a bit gummy, but th this is um, ha has good as I say snap within it um, that stops it being too broad, too creamy. Hmm. 
and then suddenly a little burst of something almost sort of blood orange yeah the tannins are integrated they have a, this limestone texture it finishes in it's really interesting um, and it finishes sort of fresh the, the, the structure at the back is, is upright and fresh very cleaning and very rocky as I say that limestone sort of character um, has nice grip it goes on and on and on and, and that finishes on that lovely lovely red fruit note it's a wine of, of huge class I've got to say um, and and as I say as well sort of elegant not a blockbuster just a delicious delicious thing I can't remember the exact blend of this wine it'll be mostly Grenache obviously but um, it's just a really really wonderful wonderful thing I'm getting almost a sort of raspberry bit of strawberry actually more than raspberry but a strawberry um, flavor to it as well um, lovely thing that's been 2007 Gigondas Le Poste from Chateau Saint-Jean delicious loving it